Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, new video where we'll talk about uh, single page application tracking and uh, to make it more simple, how to track a single page website or even what we call a scroll out uh, one page. Um, so you have the full documentation here about uh, how to do it with uh, Matomo Analytics. And actually all this documentation is uh, about when we were doing it the old way. Uh, without, uh, let's say, using a Matomo uh, Tag Manager. So um, as you can imagine, the big issue that you have with a single page uh, website is that the change of a page, I mean, all the information are within one page and you would like to track actually the different part uh, of the page. And uh, for this, the let's say the easiest way to do it if you have the information is to strike it uh, through the hash change. So the hash uh, represents, uh, let's say, this specific character that you have within the URL, which can be used in order to know that the user went to another section of the page. And then what we do with uh, Matomo Tag Manager in order to track uh, what we call this virtual page view, we use actually um, uh, two features, which are the set custom URL and or, or uh, the set documentator in order to give a custom uh, URL to this uh, new part of the website and uh, a new title. So that's the way we use it. And uh, you have actually, uh, in plus of that, several uh, things that you may or may not have to do according to the existing, let's say, tracking code that you have. So I guess that most of you won't use actually the custom uh, a variable, but if you do, you have actually an extra layer of code to add. Uh, same thing regarding the updated generation time and uh, and so on and so forth. So you have several things that you need to take into consideration, but to make it simple, uh, the easiest way to go is actually just by adding uh, those, um, those lines of code with, uh, let's say, the hash change things. And if you would like to push it a little bit more, probably you want to activate as well uh, the enable link tracking. Um, the way I'm gonna, let's say, make this tutorial maybe is not the perfect way, just started to play uh, with it a little bit. So uh, as I didn't have actually a single page uh, website, I use a template of WordPress, which is uh, the following one. So I think uh, that's a nice uh, sandbox that you can play with. Go for uh, a template in WordPress, which is called a single page. So it looked like uh, this one. And as you can see, uh, this template is pretty interesting because whatever the pages or posts that you inserted within your WordPress already is going to kick them out and really give you uh, a full uh, one-page, um, let's say, um, website. And this is kind of interesting because you can see that every time that I'm going down with the uh, bottom arrow, I get actually this change uh, within the URL, and this is uh, what we're going to play with. So um, I have my website, which is here, and I would like to track uh, the information, which are the following one. Uh, the fact that so the first information that I would like to track is the fact that someone is on uh, the home page, right, which corresponds to the landing page of this given website. Then I have my section one, section two, section three, section four. I can access to them either by scrolling down the page or either by clicking by one of those links. So I basically want to track uh, this URL as a page view in order to say, okay, the user is on this given page, but as well, uh, when we go here and either um, if is going up like this. So in order to do so, I need to ensure that I have Matomo Tag Manager on my website because that's the way I'm going to uh, show it uh, within this video. So I'm going to uh, show you that I have my Matomo Tag Manager installed it. So the way I'm going to show it is different than the one that you have uh, within the documentation here, but I'm going to explain how you can do uh, this, or at least the main, uh, let's say, function, which are those within Matomo Tag Manager. So in order for it to work, you need, of course, to have Matomo Tag Manager installed. And then uh, once you do so, uh, regarding the tags, you will have, so you will have two tags. Um, the first one is uh, the following one. I mean, all 
single website page may be different, but in my case, that make the fix. So I need to create a tag. This tag, you can name it uh, whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to call it zero. Zero one history change analytics. Um, so there's a variable, and this variable is here in order to send the data to my uh, website number one. It has to be a page view. I mean, yeah, it has to be a page view because we want to send a virtual page view. And this virtual page view and this, uh, those two fields actually I appeared in uh, Matomos 3.8.1, if I remember well. Um, so here yeah, I decided to push two variables, which are the history h new and history h new correspond to this part. Okay, that's the additional part, uh, which has been, let's say, uh, sent when the URL changed. And um, I'm pushing actually the same information within the custom URL. Of course, here I have a small website, so I basically should, let's say, hard code a nice name over here, but I'm not going to do it. Um, it will require, in my case, uh, probably to add several uh, several tags. I'm, I'm not going to do it. And here, the trigger that we want is, uh, and I think that's one reason why this tutorial is interesting, because for once, uh, we're going to pick up a trigger, which is uh, an history change. And you can pick it up, yep, when you go over here, for the trigger when you picked it up, uh, history change triggered when the current URL change. So this is when uh, there's a change in terms of hash. And then you can update it. And the problem that we have, if we just set this given tag, is that actually it will send a visit to Matomo, a page view visit, every time that the URL change. But as a result, if you don't add an extra tag, it won't count actually uh, the visit of let's say, the, the first URL, right, the home URL. So in order to track uh, the two, what you will need is you will need to add an extra uh, tag. So in my case, I'm going to call it like uh, maybe the home page, right, because that's going to be the home page. So let's say Matomo Analytics uh, home page. Um, yep. Yeah, sorry, I have the letter number which is not working, so I'm going to say page or tag, then that's ugly. Um, and then I need to define, as you can see, one trigger, which is uh, every time that there is a new page view, and as well, uh, when actually the history does not change. So like this, I'm ensuring that actually the trigger will only fire on uh, the home page, and then as everything is done, I can, can publish it. So live, live, and I can, I can publish it. Okay, so now it's done. And what I will do is I will as well uh, copy and paste this part and show it to you that it's it works. So uh, I'm going to activate the preview mode. Okay, so now what is happening is as um, the home page loaded, I got actually the first tag to load. So here I'm happy because as you can see, I get the Matomo Analytics home page loaded and then the history change analytics has not been fired. So now let's push uh, the bottom arrow. So here, as you can see, it goes to section two. So what happens is that two things have been triggered. The first uh, one is an history change. So this history change is sending the fact that I went on the section two. So it's pushing now as a page view, the information, which is uh, the hash. So section two is on the title or is on the URL. And as well, it triggered something in order to say, okay, block the Matomo analytics on page. It should not fire uh, for it. And it's true, it has not been fired. So now I'm going to click on uh, section four. So I clicked on session four, same thing, actually history change number four has been loaded. So yes, it works. And the number five blocked it and so on and so forth. So now if I go uh, up here and I go to up and down and so on and so forth, it's counting everything up. 
So I can uh, go over here and refresh my visit. And now I should see. Yep, I should see all my uh, traffic counted. So now it's, it's a bit of a mess, right? So it's kind of uh, difficult to identify uh, where I am, but all the information have been uh, pushed properly as we can. Um, as we can, as we can check it here. So I get the, so the last one I was, let's say I'm going to do it like, uh, I'm going to refresh the page like two or three times. And now I'm going to go on section three. So the last action that I did was three times the home page and then section three. Um, I'm not sure, maybe the last time, maybe it was, maybe I pushed it three times or four times, but as you can see, it's working fine here. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's it. So as I previously mentioned, I just started to play with single page application, single page website. So, um, you may have some, uh, as I, uh, as you saw during, uh, during the tutorial, I created another tags. At the beginning, I wasn't uh, playing with two tags, but only with one. And as you can see, I made many tests. Uh, so if it happens to you, for example, if you are um, realizing that after some, let's say some hours that you are pushing, let's say too much action and you would like to clean up uh, your Matomo installation, I'm just going to do it uh, like this in order to show you how you can remove actually your own traffic from Matomo and getting a clean instance. So let's wait a little bit. So I would like to show you, okay, for the visit of today. So we are on February the 3rd. Okay, I have, I have six visits and let's imagine that I would like uh, to delete uh, those six visits. What you can do is you can go over here and just uh, pick up actually um, the ID of this given visitor. Okay, so for example, this one, I know that, oops, so I'm going to pick up the S32. Okay, so let's, let's copy it, copy. So you go up here and here you have, um, yeah, you have a feature under GDPR, so GDPR over here that you can use in order to uh, take you as a user. So in my case, that's the visitor, visitor ID. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's say ID, visitor ID. Okay, so I did a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, I could just decide to delete the one of today, but uh, let's delete them all. Okay, so everything has been deleted. And if you go now within, yep, so within the date of today, The date of today, you will see that they have been all uh, removed. And if you look at overview, you will see that those information are still in. The reason is that actually it's deleting uh, the raw data, but not deleting uh, the processed data. So in order to delete the processed data, what you need to ask to Matomo is to what we call invalidate reports. So it means that you need uh, to ask him to make uh, let's say all the mathematics in order to uh, remove my website, in order to remove just the one you are interested in. So all historical data, in my case, I just want uh, the last month. Uh, 
Yeah, the problem is if I'm saying just last month in my case, I'm not gonna take the date of today, I'm afraid. Um, so let's do it anyway. So here it's gonna take, oh great, it's gonna take the date of today. Uh, they have been successfully invalidated. And now if I'm lucky enough normally, and let's hope like this, I will have finished my demo and I can go to sleep. And if I go over here, uh, that I go an overview and that I'm asking for the day of today. So just the time for Matomo to make the mathematics again. So it's taking a bit of time. Oh, great. So yeah, as you can see, as I was the only visitor for this given day, uh, everything has been uh, removed. And now I get actually so the time for the graph uh, to show out. But um, yeah, clearly this tutorial is not finished. So you know now that if you would like to track a single page website, or if you would like to know how you can, let's say, implement this technique, uh, I strongly advise you to go for uh, this template, which is called single page uh, within WordPress, then to deploy uh, the Matomo tag manager on it. If you would like to go a bit deeper in the explanation, such as playing with uh, those, let's say, those line of code, um, probably here you will need actually to add uh, additional uh, custom HTML code, but you may have actually some possibilities as well. I never tried it, but within the create uh, the new Matomo configuration file. So yeah, you can go probably. Okay, so here you will have the maximum, but you can go probably uh, over here. And here uh, you have actually enabled cross and JavaScript track. Yeah, you get, for example, the track all content impression that you can use, which is the equivalent of uh, the equivalent of this line of code, but not even. Okay, so in any case, yes, you will have to use a custom HTML tag instead because those uh, features are not supported actually within uh, the current tag of Matomo Analytics. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it will help you actually uh, track uh, uh, even more efficiently actually your single page website with uh, Matomo Analytics. Thanks for watching.